Dear student, in this section, we will see the problems in the Venturi meter. Okay. Say last uh, last section we see the derivation. Okay, for the Venturi meter. So, question uh, of discharge is equal to Q theoretical divided by Q actual. Okay. So, uh, the first problem I will read. Please follow. A horizontal Venturi meter with inlet and throat diameter. 30 centimeter and 15 centimeter respectively is used to measure the flow of water. The reading of differential manometer is connected to the inlet and the throat is 20 centimeter of mercury. Determine the rate of flow. Take CD is equal to 0 0.98. CD is equal to 0 0.98. Okay. So, Please note on in this question, what are the data given? First one is inlet pipe diameter. So inlet pipe diameter how much? 30 centimeter. And the throat diameter, 15 centimeter. Okay. So you can see here half of the inlet diameter. So throat diameter is half of the inlet diameter. It is used to measure the flow of water. The reading of differential manometer is connected to the Inlet and throat is 20 centimeter. So the mercury level in the manometer height difference is 20 centimeter. Determine the rate of flow. Okay. So what is the other name of rate of flow? Is nothing but discharge. Q. Okay. Q is nothing but discharge. Now here uh, they given CD values. What is in by CD? Coefficient of discharge of this venturi meter is 0 0.98. Okay. So let us find the rate of flow. Okay. So rate of flow. How to calculate rate of flow? So CD is equal to, we know the formula. CD is equal to Q actual, Q actual divided by Q theoretical. Okay. Q actual divided by Q theoretical. So this is the formula we know. Okay. So they are asking this Q actual only. So you multiply this CD value into Q actual value. CD into Q actual. We can easily get, sorry, CD into Q theoretical, not Q actual, Q theoretical. CD into Q theoretical, we can, we can easily get the Q actual value. The Q actual only is the uh, unknown value. Okay, here, that only we have to find. So let us do how. So CD value, this value they given in the question. You can see here CD value 0 0.98. Okay. So only unknown is Q theoretical value. So we know that Q theoretical formula. What is that Q theoretical formula? You can see here as per the derivation A1, A2 divided by root of A1 square minus A2 square into root 2 G H. Once you can find this answer, you multiply by 0 0.98, we can easily get the Q actual. This is your Q actual. Okay. So let us find. So first, data given, D1. D1 how much? 30 centimeter. So here I kept uh, as it is. Okay, centimeter only. So uh, your, your wish, you can uh, convert in meter also. Okay, so in this problem, I will get as it is centimeter. Okay, so now D1 30 centimeter. So A1, what is A1? 5 by 4 into D1 square. So 5 by 4 into 30 square. So we got 706.85 centimeter square. Next, day of throat. D2 is 15 centimeter. So A2 is equal to 5 by 4 into 15 square. So 176.7 centimeter square. So A1, A2. So in this question, A1, A2, we found. Okay, in this uh, formula. Okay, so next, what is the other unknown value here? H. How to find H? Using the formula. So reading of differential manometer, how much? 20 centimeter. This 20 centimeter is nothing but X. So X is the difference in height in the manometer. Okay, so difference of pressure head is given by H is equal to X into SH divided by S naught minus 1. 
what is sh and what is s not so in previous session we already see sh is nothing but specific gravity of the heavy liquid okay specific gravity of the heavy liquid so here what is the our heavy liquid they given in the question mercury so what is the specific gravity of the mercury 13.6 so next come to specific gravity of water that means lighter liquid which is equal to 1 okay which is equal to 1 okay so substitute the value x equal to 20 cm sh is equal to 13.6 and s not is equal to 1 minus 1 so finally how much we got so here substitution 20 13.6 divided by 1 minus 1 so finally we got 252 cm of water okay 252 cm of water so now now substitute all the Uh, values in this equation so q is equal to cd what is cd 0.98 what is a1 706.85 multiply by what is a2 176.7 okay divided by root of a1 square minus a2 square a1 square what is a1 706.85 square minus 176.7 square okay int what is root 2 gh Root 2 into g into h. H is what is h? 252 centimeter of water. Substitute here. Okay. So finally, we got the answer. Q is equal to. You can simplify this. Finally, you got how much? So one lakh twenty-five thousand seven fifty-six centimeter cube per second. So here we need in terms of liter per second. Liters. Per second, so divided by thousand, divided by thousand. So thousand uh, centimeter cube. That means thousand centimeter cube equal to one liter. Thousand centimeter cube is equal to one liter. Okay. So based on this, I want to convert centimeter cube into liters. So divided by thousand. Okay. So how much? One twenty-five point seven five six liters. So this is our answer. Okay. So let us move to the next problem. So an oil of specific gravity zero point eight is flowing. Is flowing. Through a venturi meter having inlet diameter 20 cm and the throw diameter 10 cm, the oil mercury differential manometer shows a reading of 25 cm. Calculate the discharge of oil through the horizontal horizontal venturi meter. Take CD is equal to 0.98. So this is the question. Okay, this is the our question. So here, what are the data is given? So previous problem, water is given. Water is flowing in the water. So sorry, water is flowing in a pipe. But here, you can see it is not water. So this is a oil. So oil is flowing in the uh, pipe. Okay. So we need to calculate the discharge of the oil. So what is the specific gravity of the oil? Zero point eight. Okay, and in the diameter of the pipe is twenty centimeter, and throw diameter ten centimeter. You can see here, as per the pre previous problem, this is half of the the throw diameter is half of the inlet pipe diameter. Okay, the oil mercury differential manometer shows a reading twenty five centimeter. So the difference in the mercury level is nothing but x. Okay. Calculate the discharge of oil through the horizontal venturi meter. Take CD is equal to zero point nine eight. CD question of discharge is equal to zero point nine eight. So this is the question. Okay, what are the given data? Inlet diameter D one, out uh, throw diameter D two, and the specific gravity of the oil S yes, naught. Okay, S yes, naught. Under specific gravity of the mercury, SH thirteen point six, under CD zero point 
98. Okay. And the X, X value difference in the mercury level 25 centimeter. Okay. So, what is the formula? Q is equal to CD A1 A2 divided by root of A1 square minus A2 square into root 2 G H. So, first we will, we have to find A1 A2 as per previous form. What is D1? 20 centimeter. So, pi by 4 into D1 square, pi by 4 into 20 square, which is equal to 314.16 centimeter square. This is your A1. So, just apply, see, pipes throughout all are in circular section. So, you can apply the circular cross section area, pi by 4 into D square. Next, come to D2. D2 is 10 centimeter. Okay, so pi by 4 into 10 square. So we get an answer 78.54 centimeter square. So CD is equal to 0 0.98. That also given in the question. Okay, so substitute all the values in this formula. A1, A2 divided by root of A, A1 square minus A2 square into root 2 GH into CD. So this is our, this is our formula. So substitute all the value, what is CD? 0 0.98, A1, what is A1? Here, 314.16, what is A2? A2 is 78.54, divided by root of A1 square, this is A1 square and A2 square into root 2 G H. So here G is 981, since we are substituting all the values in terms of centimeter. Okay, so G is 981. So, in case of if you substitute in terms of meter, means G is equal to how much? 9.81. 9.81. Okay. So, but here we are substituting all the values in terms of centimeter. So, we have to write 981 into H. H is 400. H is 400. So, how to find this H? Uh, so, using this formula, pressure head, difference in pressure head, H is equal to x into sh divided by s naught minus 1. So what is x? 25 centimeter. This is given in the question. And sh is equal to 13.6 divided by s naught. So in previous case it is water. So we substituted s naught is equal to 1. But here it is not water. It is somewhat oil. So it is 0 0.8. So minus 1. So finally we get an answer. 400 centimeter of oil. Okay. So substitute all the values. Substitute all the values. We get an answer. So what is that answer? 70,465 centimeter cube per second. 70,465 centimeter cube per second. So it is in terms of centimeter cube per second. So we need to convert in terms of liters per second. So how to convert liters per second? 70,465 divided by 1000. So 70.465 liters per second. This is how the answer. Okay. So simple concept. What they asking? Discharge or rate of flow. Discharge and rate of flow both are same. First you route the, write down the CD formula. What is CD formula? Q actual divided by Q theoretical. So in this question, they are asking Q actual value only. So Q actual is equal to CD into Q theoretical. So this is your CD, CD and this formula. This formula is nothing but Q theoretical. So CD into Q theoretical. So this is the formula for Q actual. So here they didn't write Q actual, and, uh, they written only Q. It is nothing but Q actual discharge only. Okay. So substitute calculate A1 and A2, area of the inlet pipe. So don't put diameter. So in examination, some student, they written this diameter. D, instead of A1, A2, they, they will write D1, D2, 30 and 10. So it is wrong. So we have to calculate area. Okay. Area. Area of the circular section. So A1, A2 and H. For H, we know the formula X into 
S H divided by S naught minus one. H is nothing but heavy liquid. S naught is nothing but lighter liquid. So here I am mentioning heavy light means based on the density. Based on the density. Okay. So then after that, call, uh, substitute all the formula and we got the answer. Simple. Okay. So let us move to the next problem. Next, we will see the another problem. So this problem is very, very important. Okay. Why means, say last two problem, we discussed the uh, to find the rate of flow. Okay. To find the rate of flow. That means Q value. So, but this problem, the Q value they given. Okay. Q value given. So, what they are asking means, what is the value of X? That means, difference in the mercury level. Okay. So, let us see. I will raise the question. Please follow. A horizontal venturi meter with inlet diameter 20 centimeter and the throat diameter 10 centimeter is used to measure the flow of oil of specific gravity 0 0.8. Okay. The discharge of oil through venturi meter is 60 liters per second. 60 liters per second. Find the reading of the oil mercury differential manometer. Okay. So find the reading of oil mercury differential manometer. Take CD is equal to 0 0.98. So the Q value, this is your Q value. Q value they given 60 liters per second. So here they are asking what is X? What is X? So this is your question. Find the reading of the oil mercury differential manometer. Okay. So this problem is very easy, but this is very, very important problem in the horizontal venture meter. So now D1 is equal to, what is the data given? D1, 20 centimeter. So A1, pi by 4 into D square, it is 314.16 centimeter square. Okay, pi by 4 into D square, A yeah. Next D2, D2 how much? 10 centimeter. So corresponding area, what is the corresponding area? It is pi by 4 into 10 square, 78.54 centimeter square. So CD value is given 0 0.98 and Q value 60 liters per second. So here they given in terms of liters. Okay. So we have to convert into centimeter cube per second. So we have to multiply by 1000. Please listen. So in the question, they will give liters only. Most 99% they will give liters only. So we have to convert in terms of centimeter cube. Okay. So we have to multiply by 1000. So using the equation, Q actually is equal to CD into A1, A2 divided by root of A1 square minus A2 square into root 2 G H, root 2 G H. Okay. So now Q is equal to substitute the value. So what are all the values you know? Okay. Substitute. So here what are all the values we know? Q we know. It is given in the question. So 60 into 1000. 16 to 1000. This is our Q. Next is CD. CD value is how much? 0 0.98. Sorry, this is not a 9.81. So, printing mistake. It is 0 0.98. Please correct that one. 0 0.98. Okay. 0 0.98. So, int. What is A1? 314.16. A2? 78.54. So, divided by root of a1 square 314.16 square minus A2 square 78.54 square into root of 2 into 981. So here G is in terms of centimeter means 981 into H. Okay. So we need X value. Okay. We need only X value. So X is hidden. X is hidden in the H term. Okay, in the H formula, you can see here in this formula. So here we need only this X. We have to calculate only this X. So uh, 
we must calculate this h value so here the only unknown is h okay keep as it is so it is not uh, 9.81 it is 0 0.98 0 0.98 okay so except this h except this h all the values are known okay keep this root h in the left hand side okay and find out the h value it is 289.98 centimeter of oil okay so now h is equal to now substitute the formula write on the formula and substitute all the values so x is equal to x into sh divided by s naught minus 1 so now here what is sh so it is mercury sh is nothing but mercury next what is s naught s naught is it is the the uh, specific gravity of the oil 0 0.98 it is given in the question okay minus 1 so substitute all the values except this x substitute all the values we can easily get this x value okay so uh, first uh, what is the main thing means first we must understand the question if you understand the question uh, 50 percentage of problem is uh, we can solve easily okay balance thing is only formula substitution okay so if you substitute the formula we can directly get the answer so first understand the concept first write down the formula q actual formula q theoretical formula cd formula and h formula so this four formulas only incorporate in the problem used in this problem okay so the x value x value is nothing but the difference in the mercury level so this x value is hidden in the uh, h formula okay so first step is we have to uh, calculate h value once you find the h value you substitute in the uh, h formula okay all the values in the x formula so the only unknown is x so from this x we can easily form okay so in our case the x value is how much 18.12 centimeter so this is the our final answer okay so next we will move to the next problem uh, next problem is somewhat different okay so what is the difference means here there is no x formula uh, x term okay instead of x term they given directly the pressure okay they are given directly pressure so based on the pressure we must calculate the h value we need to calculate h value okay so for finding h value we we must use two formulas okay it is depends upon the problem one is x into if differential differential manometer uh, level okay mercury level is given means uh, we used in the previous case formula h is equal to x into sh divided by s naught minus 1 so instead of that one if pressure is given pressure is given means we have to use this formula so what is that formula so h is equal to p1 divided by rho g minus p2 divided by rho g p1 divided by rho g minus p2 divided by rho g so this is the formula okay so let us see the problem so a horizontal venturi meter with inlet diameter 20 centimeter so inlet dia is 20 centimeter and the throat diameter 10 centimeter is used to measure the flow of water okay the pressure at inlet is 70.658 newton per centimeter square and the vacuum pressure at the throat is 30 centimeter of mercury so here uh, you can see the pressures so water is flowing in the pipe at inlet they directly given the pressure that means 17.658 newton per centimeter square but uh, the vacuum pressure so in throat vacuum pressure is created okay vacuum pressure is created that pressure uh, head okay here they didn't give the pressure value directly they given the pressure head it is 30 centimeter of mercury okay 
find the discharge of water through the venturi meter take cd is equal to 0.98 so here also they asking q value okay so what is the dia of inlet d1 is 20 cm uh, and based on d1 area okay area is 5 by 4 into d square it is 5 by 4 into 20 square okay which is equal to 314.16 cm square next dia of throat is d2 10 cm and a2 is 5 by 4 into 10 square which is equal to 78.74 cm square okay so next p1 p1 is equal to 17.658 newton per centimeter square okay what is p1 17.658 newton per centimeter square okay so this newton per centimeter square we must convert into newton per meter square okay so now we have to substitute in terms of meters in this problem okay so next this also given in the question 70 that means inlet pressure here they given in centimeter square we calculated we found in terms of meter square okay so next uh, density of water okay is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube and so here we need to calculate pressure head pressure head because why need why we need to calculate pressure head of water means at vacuum pressure they given in terms of the pressure head only they given 30 centimeter is nothing but pressure head at the throat okay so uh, in uh, in that pipe also we we need to calculate in terms of uh, pressure head only so how to calculate using this formula p1 divided by rho g so p1 is nothing but pressure at the inlet pipe okay 70.658 into 10 power 4 newton per meter square divided by rho rho is 9.81 g is 1000 sorry rho is sorry i changed so rho is 1000 g is 9.81 so substitute and simplify this equation we got 18 meter of water 18 meter of water so for this much pressure okay this much pressure in the piezometric tube the water level is increased up to 18 meter that is the meaning so next come to vacuum pressure head so that is p2 divided by rho g this is given in the problem it is 30 centimeter why i put minus so tell me the reason because it is vacuum pressure it is vacuum pressure so in the question they given vacuum pressure so gauge pressure gauge if they given gauge pressure means we can use directly plus value so here they didn't give gauge pressure they given vacuum vacuum is created okay so minus okay minus 30 centimeter of mercury okay so minus 30 centimeter if you convert it into meter means minus 0 0.3 meter of mercury minus 0 0.3 meter of mercury so which is equal to minus 0 0.3 into 13.6 so what is this 13.6 see listen in this case water is flowing in the pipe so we need to calculate pressure head in terms of water only but here in the question they given in terms of mercury in terms of mercury okay so but here we calculated already in terms of water okay so minus 0 0.3 into 13.6 so 13.6 is the specific gravity of the mercury specific gravity of the mercury so which is equal to minus 4.08 meter of water 4.08 meter of water okay so why we i put uh, specific gravity of the mercury means so this pressure head that means vacuum pressure head they given in terms of mercury so it should be converted into uh, pressure head in terms of water means we must multiply the pressure head in 
multiplied by the specific gravity of the mercury corresponding liquid specific gravity okay so finally we got minus 4.08 liter of water okay so what is the need of this two calculation means so finally we, we must calculate the difference in the pressure head so difference in the pressure head is nothing but p1 divided by rho g minus p2 divided by rho g which is equal to uh, what is p1 by rho g 80 minus p2 by rho g is minus 4.08 minus 4.08 so finally this minus minus get plus so 18 plus 4.08 which is equal to 22.08 meter 22.08 meter so which is equal to so 1 meter equal to how much centimeter 1 meter equal to how much centimeter 100 centimeter so i multiply this value into 100 so finally i got 2208 centimeter of water okay so what is our ultimate aim to find the discharge okay so in the discharge formula except this h all are unknown values only cd we know a1 we know a2 we know and g we know only the unknown values is h value so for that h value only we must calculate the pressure head okay why because so as per the previous problem they didn't give the difference in the pressure head that means here there is no x value instead of x value they given pressure and the mercury head so based on this value sub, uh, we can use this formula p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g so finally we get h is equal to 2208 okay so substitute all the values we got an answer how much we got an answer so this is equal to not into this is equal to okay so 1,65,555 centimeter cube per second. Okay. So one centi sorry, uh, one liter equal to thousand centimeter cube per second. One uh, liter is equal to thousand centimeter cube per second. So I need to calculate centimeter cube per second into liters per second means divided by thousand divided by thousand. So from this 165.555 liters per second. This is the answer, final answer. Okay, now students. So only two method formula only. If x is given means you use previous case formula. If uh, there is no x, pressure is given means pressure and head, head of water is given means you can use this formula. That is the different. Okay. So let us see the next problem. Next problem. So here you can see the inlet and throat diameter of your horizontal venture meter are 30 centimeter and 10 centimeter. So inlet pipe diameter 30 centimeter and the throat diameter 10 centimeter. The liquid flowing through the meter is water. So water is flowing. So pressure intensity at the inlet is 13.734 Newton per centimeter square. So as per the previous case. Okay. So and the vacuum pressure head at the throat is 37 centimeter of mercury. Okay. Previous case they given 30 centimeter. Here 37 centimeter. Find the rate of flow. Find the rate of flow is nothing but find the discharge. Uh, Next, one more term they demand. Assume that 4% of the differential head is lost between the inlet and throat. So what is this means? When the water is traveled from the inlet to the throat, inlet, so what is available in between? Between the inlet and the throat is nothing but conversion comb. So you know the uh, parts, okay, first inlet pipe, then conversion cone, 
next throat and divergent cone and outlet pipe so these are the components of the venture meter if water is traveled from the inlet pipe after that if it travel into the convergent cone then again it move into throat okay so in between this process some of the uh, pressure head is lost so that is 4 percentage that is 4 percentage okay so it may be your uh, the roughness that means frictional uh, loss this is may, may be due to the frictional loss inside the pipe that means roughness inside the pipe is somewhat rough it is not smooth okay so this may happen 4 percentage or 5 percentage okay so loss is between the inlet and flow find also the value of cd for the venturi meter so here there are uh, they asked two question one first one is rate of flow second one is cd okay so let us see the problem so first write the data given what is the data given inlet pipe diameter that is 30 cm so from this calculate area so a1 is equal to pi by 4 into d square that means 30 square which is equal to 706.85 cm square so next come to d2 d2 what is d2 10 cm so a2 is equal to pi by 4 into 10 square which is equal to 78.54 cm square okay so next p1 what is the pressure given 13.734 newton per cm square so if i need to call uh, i need to convert in terms of meter square means 13.734 into 10 power 4 newton per meter square okay so next come to pressure head what is pressure head p1 by rho g okay so this pressure head is nothing but at the inlet pipe so 13.734 into 10 power 4 divided by rho is 1000 into 9.81 Which is equal to 14 meter of water. 14 meter of water. Okay. So next, P2 by rho g. What is P2 by rho g? It is 37 centimeter of mercury. So please note, it is vacuum pressure. It is vacuum pressure. Okay. So minus 37 centimeter of mercury. Minus 37 centimeter of mercury. Okay. So minus 37 into so we need to calculate the uh, in terms of meter meter of water so here 37 cm so if you converted into meter means how much minus 0.37 meter okay cm into meter so next uh, uh, multiply by the specific gravity of the mercury 13.6 so minus 0.37 into 13.6 we got minus 5.032 meter of water so if we converted into uh, specific gravity the mercury means uh, we get in terms of meter okay so from this equation we get the pressure head in terms of minus so differential head so what is the differential the differential head formula h is equal to p1 by rho g minus p2 by rho g okay so what is p1 by rho g 14 meter of water p2 by rho g minus 5.032 so already one minus is there in the formula so minus uh, and also uh, uh, inside the bracket minus p2 by rho g is Five point minus five point zero three two. So this minus this minus. If you multiply two minus means we get plus. So fourteen plus five point zero three two. So we get an answer nineteen point zero three two meter of water. So if you convert it into centimeter means thousand nine hundred and nine hundred and three point two centimeter. Okay. So what? Uh, I already told in the question they given some of the head loss is occurs. So head loss, head is lost. Okay. So how much? Four percentage. So in the differential head, uh, 
that means 19,903.2. Uh, in this, 4 percentage head loss is occurs. So, what is that 4 percentage? 4 divided by 100 into 4 divided by 100 into 19.032. 19.032. So, here I substitute in terms of meter. Okay. So, 4 divided by into 19.032, how much? 0 0.7613. 0 0.7613. Okay, so this is the HF, okay, head lost, okay. So CD value, so another formula for CD value. So uh, we already uh, know that CD is equal to, what is the formula CD? CD is equal to Q actual, Q actual divided by Q theoretical. Q actual divided by Q theoretical, okay. So this is one formula. So here we don't know Q actual. Okay, how to calculate CD value? So for CD value, there is another formula we have to use. CD is equal to root of H minus HF divided by H. H minus HF divided by H, which is equal to root of 19.032. 19.032 minus, minus HF is 0 0.7613, 0 0.7613 divided by 19.032. So, H minus HF divided by H, which is equal to 0 0.98. So, from this question, we calculated the value. Okay, 0 0.98. CD value is 0 0.98. Okay, keep it uh, in mind in this formula. Okay, so next. So what is our ultimate aim to find the discharge? So what is the discharge formula? CD into CD into Q theoretical. CD into Q theoretical. Okay. So this is your CD Q theoretical formula is A1 A2 root of 2G H divided by root of A1 square minus A2 square. Okay, so therefore CD is 0 0.98 with A1 value we already calculated. It is 706. Point. So here please note down, I substituted in terms of centimeter square. 706.85, A2 is 78.54 multiplied by root into 2 into 9981 into H is 1903.2 divided by root of A1 square minus A2 square. So simplify all the equation, finally we got 1,49,692.8 centimeter cube per second. Okay, so suppose I want to convert liters per second means 149.692. Okay, this is liters per second. Okay, again, I want to convert that meter cube per second means again divided by 1000. Again divided by 1000. So finally, we got 149. 149.692. So this is in terms of meter cube per second. This is liters per second. So keep it in, uh, you, in your mind. So if you want to centimeter cube to liters means 1000 okay divided by 1000 again liters per second to meter cube per second means again 1000 okay so this is the concept okay so listen uh, all of you understand this uh, important uh, five formula five problems okay so the main formula is q cd is equal to q actual divided by q theoretical Okay, suppose I want to know Q theoretical means uh, QCD into Q, sorry, I want to know Q actual means we must multiply CD into Q theoretical. Okay, for Q theoretical, we must, uh, we know the formula A1, A2, root 2 GH divided by root of A1 square minus A2 square into root 2 GH, that's all. Okay, students. Uh, next class, we will see the inclined manometer problem. Okay, students. So, up to this, class is, uh, is over.
next we will see the next class